Hey guys, I know we all love fall and it's the perfect time for some warm and cozy food. So I decided to do a crock pot series for the season. And so my first dish I decided to make was a homemade pea stew. And you know, we love flavor on everything. So I decided to season my meat. This is about three pounds of diced chuck. And I've used some adobo. I used Tony's Italian seasoning, a few other extra things too. So you'll see as I continue to um, season the meat and then mix it all up and show y'all that in a few minutes. So I went ahead and dumped the meat in the crock pot and then I had my man help me with the carrots. You see he was struggling a little bit but we ended up getting it together real quick. And then in a few seconds you'll see me also trying to peel the potatoes so that I can cut them up. Cause beef stew is nothing without potatoes. That's like the main extra part of the dish. Like I love some potatoes. Like that is our favorite food. So I went ahead and cut up and cubed up the potatoes um pretty quick and easy to do and then you'll see me also cut up some celery i think i used about three things of celery um we would use maybe like three things of carrots as well and then we add all of that into the pot So then I added a six ounce can of tomato paste that will help with the flavor as well as thicken up the uh, beef broth that we're gonna add. I used two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Um, then I used some beef stew seasoning from McCormick and that beef onion. That will also help with thicken up the, the beef broth, but it is so good. Like it helps with the flavor. Let me tell y'all y'all, this dish with chef's kiss, um, amazing. I also kept seasoning with my own stuff. So I, this is a mushroom seasoning. You'll see me add some adobo, some more Tony's, onion powder, garlic powder. I believe I added some diet, some minced garlic. I will show y'all that in a few minutes. This is all the seasonings I used. Um, it just added everything to the meal. And let me tell y'all again, this was for my first time, I was impressed. Like I will never eat canned beef stew ever again, okay? So here I am just mixing everything in once I finally finished editing everything that I wanted in there. Look how it looked. It looked good even before it's cooked. And so I decided to cook it for about six hours. And I had my man help me with the honey cornbread. If you know, you know. So here he is adding in all the ingredients. Had two eggs, some vegetable oil. Y'all see him starting to mix it and we looking like, why it looks so thick? And then we realized we forgot the milk. So once we added the milk and we of course added some more honey, it was time to put it in the oven. But again, this just adds to the meal. It's so good. Like who don't want beef stew and cornbread? Like they go hand in hand. So y'all see him drizzling that honey in there. He can mix that in there because like I said, it's say honey cornbread, but we love honey. So we added some more. And then you'll also see I drizzle a little more right on top so it can cook right on top of it. Nice and brown. You see that? Yes. I flavor my rice. And then look at that beef stew. Y'all can't tell me that's not perfect. I 